you like my red motorcycle and there's a bug on it. Okay. Anyway guys, welcome to the channel. If you guys are new here, I am Snussy Copen and two months ago I picked up this 2009 Harley Davidson Street Glide, which is kind of a different color to be honest with you. This is my daughter Kinsley. You say hi. It is red hot denim so it's like i guess like towards the beginning like the i think they did some denims in like 07 08 09 this was a denim that to be honest with you i feel like you don't see a lot of red hot denim street glides now they did come out with a newer denim red i guess street glide i forget what it's i think it's like red hot sun glow denim or something. i don't freaking know but there's a few things with this bike that I really don't like, and that is, one, there's a lot of chrome. So, today, I'm going to try something out. Now, I, I always told myself, like, I wouldn't plasti dip a Harley, like, ever. But the point of this is to show you can plasti dip something <laughs> high. You can plasti dip something on your Harley, very inexpensive, and, uh... It looked pretty decent. There's, I think, three things that I kind of want to plastic dip. I think this is going to be like part one of three. And uh, the first thing that we're going to try to plastic dip is this little ring around my headlight. Now, I do have a smoked headlight, turn signal lights, everything are smoked. I really want to get the black, matte black look on the front here. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's take it off and start plastic dipping. I do want to apologize. It sounds like the neighbor might be running like an electronic blower next door, so you can kind of hear that. But let's get this ring taken off. Oh boy, so we're running into issue number one already. And I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but it looks like the previous owner stripped the piss out of this so let's try to figure this out we got it all think that right now we have to clean it i feel like i feel like there's some stuff missing inside here to be completely honest with you guys but the next step that we're going to do is we're going to clean this up and prep it for paint all right so we're all cleaned up everything is dry now, I'm not sponsored by Plastic Dip or nothing like that, but I do enjoy using Plastic Dip for some stuff. Where are you at, kid? So, when doing your first coat, you want to cover everything, but you don't want to like be like super stupid thick. So, that's what we're going to do now is we're going to put our first coat on and uh, hopefully get this to look somewhat decent. Our first coat is on, as you guys can see, it's not on like super, super thick. I'm just kind of give you guys like a little kind of tour around. But while we wait for that to dry, those of you that don't know my bike, this is my 2009 Harley Davidson Street Glide Red Hot Denim. Yes, it has 14 inch Handlebars, cool thing is, is it only has, let's see here, there we go, 17,599 miles. I actually bought it with 16,212 from SRK Cycles, better known as Bikes and Beards. A couple minutes went by. I'm getting ready to put the second layer of plastic zip on. I recommend doing like three to four coats. Um, this isn't going to be like a long-term thing for me. Honestly, I wanted to see what the black looked like around the housing without spending the money on doing the black housing right now. Ultimately, I'm going to be doing everything, replacing the aftermarket parts. What do you want? I want water. You want some water for that? Okay, we'll get some water for that. Anyway, like I was saying, everything that I am plastic dipping in these next couple areas, or the next couple episodes, I should say, um, ultimately I'm going to change them out with like actual like powder coated parts and different stuff like that. But why not try it out to see the look that I'm looking for anyway, to, to get the look that I'm looking for for a cheap price. I mean, to pick up a can of Plastidip, I think it was like five or six bucks 
for to me to get a can of Plasti Dip. So I'm gonna put the second layer of Plasti Dip on this and then we'll keep going through. Second coat is now on. You can see coverage wise, we're looking a lot better coverage wise. Not too worried about the inside at this point. I am going to, once we go through rounds three and four, just kind of coating that a little bit better. I don't know if you guys can see. There's some just overspray. There's some blank spots. But ultimately, so far so good for a $6 can of Plasti Dip. I feel like this is going to make a pretty decent difference to the appearance of the front of this bike. What else do you guys think I should do to this bike in the meantime? Obviously, it's got different grips, different handlebars. Yes, I installed a cup holder. Screaming Eagle intake. It's got Reinhardt exhaust. Ultimately, I think I'm going to swap out the Reinhardts and go Vance and Hines. But, I don't know. To me, there's just... It's almost too much chrome on this bike. See, like, just seeing the black ring around that is going to make me feel so much better about doing what we're doing to the front of this because i think honestly it's going to make a huge difference of the appearance of the front of this bike drop your comments if you guys would like to see me get a gopro and go for some rides on the street glide honestly i love riding this thing in two months i put 1500 or so thousand or 15 or so hundred miles on the bike so far i rode it to new york up to the finger lakes it was like almost like a 500 mile round trip. I was really, really comfy in comparison to my old bike. I used to have a 2004 Sportster 1200 Custom. So riding the Sportster to New York compared to riding this to New York, massive difference. My son Brantley woke up in between and he's on his Electroglide and he is pissy. What's wrong, dude? He's crying. Yeah, I know he's crying. He's he's upset. He just woke up. You ready to see what Daddy's motorcycle looks like here in a few minutes? It's gonna look better. What? What are you doing? Fourth layer is on, so now it becomes a waiting game for this to dry so we can put it back on the bike. While we wait for that to dry before we put it back onto the street glide, how many of you have plastic dipped something, whether it was on your Harley, whether it was on your car, whether it was on whatever, specifically, I guess, motorcycles in general, what have you plastic dipped on your motorcycle? Like, I've plastic dipped cars before i plastic dipped wheels i plastic dipped a bunch of shit probably more shit than i probably should have but like i said this is just a budget test to kind of see if i like the look of this on the front i think regardless i'm gonna like the look of it but my wife pretty much there goes my buddy nate on his street guide so i i already know like i'm gonna like the look of this and my wife will when she gets home she just she's like Daddy. Ah! Your what ball? Baseball. I have no idea what you're talking about, but let's go find it together. I'm going to back the bike up a little bit because we're done spraying. To answer anybody's questions, yes, a little bit of overspray got on the bike. Wiped it down, cleaned it up real quick. It's all kosher. I'm going to back the bike up so it's more towards the garage door, so it's like more towards the light. And let's get this puppy back on and see how she looks. I think we're dry enough to get her on. Let's pop this bad boy on. Even from back here, you can notice quite the difference to the appearance of the front of the bike. I think it looks a lot better. And to be completely honest with you guys, let me see how much plastic dip I actually used. There's still like half a can, three quarters of a can left. So for in an essence, this right here was like, take $6, just 
split it into thirds. It's about $2 to do this. And you still have plenty of plastic left to do whatever you want to do. I think it looks a lot better. Like I said, these guys both have lawnmowers. And they're about ready to throw hands. Watch. No, she's gonna be, he's going to be overly dramatic. She's going to get pissed. Waiting for the screams. Awkward silence. There we go. She's back. Every little bit of her mother. Here she comes. Come on. What's the problem? Are you mad? No. Okay, well then go play. Look, he's fine. Magically, he's back up and he's just mowing. He don't care. Right, Bubby? Oh, he's still... Okay. Well... The front of the bike looks good. Well, thank you guys for watching. There's a couple other things I want to touch up on this in particular with some matte black. And uh, yeah, let me let me just show you like my forks. My forks honestly could use replaced and uh, I'd much prefer to go black with that. No, I'm not gonna apply a stiff those. No, ab absolutely not. I'm not that dumb, but not a huge chrome fan but ultimately what we want to do with this bike is we want to black it out but not completely like i do want to leave some chrome dude this this little man has pissed <laughs> pissed off little two-year-old thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one later